Welcome back to this week's video. We're gonna start this one in Pine River, Minnesota. Never stopped here at this city park. We're gonna do some free camping, not in this town, but really close by. Check out this river, this place is really nice. Well, it is a bright, warm day out. And before I get out to the state forest, since I'm here, there's a fishing pier. Let's see if we can't catch some fish. Well, this is completely unplanned. I did not think I was gonna do any fishing. My plan was to come up here, get right into the state forest. It's called the Foothill State Forest, and it's really popular with ATV people. We're gonna get in there, see if we can find a campsite. First, let's see if we can't catch fish. Well, this is just a completely unexpected stop, and it looks like there's definitely fish here. We'll try putting this crawfish rig on, see what we can do. <laughs> this would be nice. Ooh, there was a bite. Come on now. There's gotta be some decent bass in here. We'll see, I might have to put some weight on it. See if there's a bass hanging out under the dock here. Oh, I just had a pretty decent sized northern in it, right underneath the dock. Okay, there he took my leg off. Check that out. Okay, let's see if we can't pull that guy in. So the plan today after fishing is head into the Foothills State Forest. It's about five miles west of here. It's a beautiful state forest with a lot of dispersed camping. And I'm hoping that I can find a place right on a lake. Let's see if we can pull that northern out from under this dock. All right, this is it now. Oh, it's time. It's time. Can't believe this place is empty. They've got a beach here, a couple of docks, swimming platform. It's Saturday. There's no one here. Come on now. And the street continues. I cannot catch a fish to save my life. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. It's almost funny. I mean, really. But seriously, if you're ever in Minnesota on Highway 10, head into Walker, stop in this little town, enjoy this beautiful park. So nice here. So this afternoon, I'm headed into the Foothill State Forest. I'll show you guys on a map where this place is at. It's up in Cass County, Minnesota, and it's about 7,000 acres of public land. There's two lakes that I'm gonna be looking at, Cut Lake and Deer Lake. I'm hoping that I can find a dispersed campsite on one of them. Maybe some shade too. It has been a warm one. I think we're getting close. This looks like our turn. Yep, this is it. Look at this guy, check this out. He's got his uh, RV parked here and um, he's pulling in campfire wood, I think. Yep. He's dragging trees with his Buick Regal, so we should be okay in the four wheel drive. I've passed a couple of open campgrounds at this point and I'm really hoping to get on the lake. 
fingers crossed that uh, we find something on the water. Oh, it might even be nice to do some swimming today. She's a little wet back here. There is another nice big open spot. Not for me though. Nope, we're gonna keep looking. back so there's absolutely no way we're staying by the water that was just wishful thinking this uh it's pretty packed back here so i was actually talking with the dnr officer uh, that covers this area a couple of months ago and they said one of the big problems that they have in this state forest is people are way overstaying that 14 day max and uh they come out and talk to people and try and educate but so that uh fortunately that doesn't work so yeah, I could definitely see it. I was out here last year. Vic and I uh, just got the channel down by the river. He came out here and we saw some campers that had been here all summer long. It was pretty obvious. Let's just pull into this spot right here. Kind of see, get a feel for it a little bit. See if this spot has any potential. I know it's got bugs. Definitely gonna roll the window up. So we got a fire pit. Unfortunately, it is off the main road. So all of those four wheelers will be driving by us, but what do you expect when you're in a state forest that's known for four wheelers and stuff? And across the street, we do have this little pond. So we do have some water here. Like I said, I talked to a DNR officer a couple of months ago about this forest. And what she told me is that a lot of times this forest is known um, just as kind of being a little bit more of a louder, rowdier group here. People will stay all summer long and they have problems with it getting trashed and uh, some other illegal things happen out here. What is going on? And that's like a whole wardrobe in the woods. I think that would be, that right there is gonna be the only downfall of this spot. <laughs> well, I gotta think about this one. Checking out the Onyx map, looks like we got a few more dispersed campsites. It's a few miles down the road. So we're gonna jump back on the tar. We've got about six or seven miles before we get to another trail. We're gonna enter the foothills in another spot, get into Spider Lake, hopefully find some dispersed camping. Oh, that heat hits hard. Holy buckets. If I can't find anything there, I'll we'll definitely come back to this spot. It's not a bad spot. I just really wanted to do some fishing tonight. I don't know why I don't catch anything. Where's that other campsite? Oh, it is wet. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. We're going to be getting into a part of the foothills that I've never been to before. So this will be first time for you, first time for me. 
I have no idea what to expect. I don't even know if there's drivable trails to get to the campsite that the Onyx map is showing. It might be just strictly an ATV trail. Back on tar. We'll have to see if we can even find this place. The sign says dead end, but it shows on Google Maps that it's a possibility either that there might be a boat landing down here. So we'll go check that out. So we just passed through county land. We're back into state forest land so we can boondock out here for up to 14 days. We'll see how far back this road goes. I've been seeing a lot of signs like this right here and I have not seen those signs before. Restricted area, do not trespass, Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. So there's those signs, and then there's also a lot of uh, signs that say MnDOT, which is Minnesota Department of Transportation. And it is posted thick out here. Check this out. Restricted. Drive down the road a little ways. Another one. Another one. Another one. There's three of them in a row right here. Yeah, we'll see. This might not be the place to go. I've never seen a state forest land posted this much restrictions. We got a nice lake on this side of the road. It'd be great if we could find some camping on the lake. going on here now. Well, this kind of looks like a camping spot. What is up? This is definitely a nice place to set up camp. This parking area though might be more of a staging area for four-wheelers and this be like a day use area but there's no signs posting anything other than c plus k i think i'll go back on the onyx map because it showed that there was a camping area here i just got to find it oh, we're getting into another area that has a parking lot looks like a staging area for four-wheelers see what this is all about Boy, it is staying warm out, that's for sure. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna get on the bike and take the road up and see what else we can find for camping spots. But it's good to know that the spot I'm in right now will be fine. All right, changed my mind. I'm gonna go down this road even more. You guys will have to tell me if you're like this too. Just always pushing, always looking. It seems like uh, I come across the spot and I just keep asking myself, well, what's further down the road? And hopefully I find out something further down the road yeah buddy look at this guy a Pontiac Aztec nice so I've been down this road now a couple of miles and the road is getting a lot better actually I'm not seeing any four-wheelers either I'm still coming across some of these pull-offs they have the picnic tables fire rings definitely be able to use something like that as a campsite well, looks like I made it to the end of the road. The trail gets pretty small and muddy. Just a little 300 point turn here. We'll get out, no problem. One more.
place has got a picnic table and a fire ring. The parking lot is huge. Definitely be able to get level here. The bad news is there's just no views here. I got nothing. I think we gotta keep moving. Tell ya, I honestly spend more time looking for places than I do staying at places. That's all right. We'll find the perfect spot. We're probably already there once. Well, it looks like I did the wrong thing because remember that spot that I had picked out first? Someone else has got to it. We're gonna have to find us a new spot for tonight. Oh no, that was dumb. So now we're left stuck without a spot. But you remember when we first pulled in the road kind of wide off to the right, we took the left. Let's take the right, see where that goes. This is the bull landing. I should have stayed at that first place. I didn't realize I was this close to a boat landing. And there's no uh, camping signs here. Brick. Look at this. It's really clean water. This Foothill State Forest, this is kind of, seems to be the norm. I wish they would take care of it a little bit better. Okay, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. We were there just as that guy was pulling in. Just a couple of minutes late. Well, that's too bad. And then, like I said, it's surrounded in here with no camping signs. No, I'm not really camping. I'm just sleeping in the bed of my truck. Dang, that's a good looking truck, huh? You know, I think I might have found something. We're not on water, but we're not too far from that boat landing. We're really close to the main road, and it's just a pull off, but I think it'll work absolutely fine. Like I said, we're right on the main road. It's a nice, big, wide open area. A couple of campfire rings in here. Looks like we might start to get some rain. I think I'm gonna set up right here. It's still hot. I'm gonna get inside, get the air conditioner going, cool down for a little bit, just relax, and then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. It's been raining for the last hour or so. Thinking about putting out the awning. I have to put a set of brakes in the bike. I think that if I put the awning out, uh, maybe I'd be able to work in the rain a little bit. I've probably got, I don't know, maybe 800 miles on that bike and the brakes are gone. So I picked up some new ones. I got my toolbox. I'll put the awning out, take the bike out, get some brakes put up. I just don't use this thing that often, but I think it's out. I put a little tilt in it just to keep the water running off of it. I haven't had to change the brakes on the bike yet. I'm hoping it's not too hard. I don't think so. It'll be fine. We just need an Allen wrench, I think. You can see the brakes right inside there. Let's pull the pads out. We should be able to replace them. Looks like I have to pull that pin right here. Simple enough. Definitely stops a lot quicker, that's for sure. Let's go see if any of those camping spots are open again. All right, we're gonna be coming up to that spot on the lake that we had earlier. Let's see if she opened up. There's There's been a number of vehicles that have left the forest here completely open. Okay. Awesome. Let's go get the truck. This is going to be our spot for the night. We're going to wake up and have coffee by the lake in the morning. Look at that. That's going to be our view. Sweet. Let's go get the truck. And 
you might be thinking to yourself, Kenny, how'd you learn from your mistakes? It doesn't work, just stay where you're at. But for you guys that have been watching me for the last year, you know that I make mistakes in every episode. Oh, sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Well, I think we finally got it figured out. Found our place, we're right on the water. There's a really nice breeze coming this way too. A little bit later tonight, I'm gonna get the campfire going and I brought some sausages with, we'll make those on the fire. I can hear the four wheelers starting up over across the lake again. It's all right, this is where we're gonna call home. Check out this picnic table. It's got a little too close to the fire. And I think this is the spot that was meant for me. The reason I say that, check that out. <laughs> yeah. This spot was definitely made for me. Let's get the fire going, get some bug spray down. I gotta say this ended up being pretty nice out here. Thinking that maybe I'll put the flip flops on, walk out in the water, see if I can get beyond the weeds. Maybe I can nail a fish out there. <laughs> Them feet are white. She's a little bit mucky right in the beginning. Oh my gosh, like very mucky. Flip flops are getting stuck. Gets us out there a little bit more. It's getting a lot deeper than I thought. I'm already up to the shorts. I mean, that was perfect. I was a kid we used to cast all the time. Ooh, I got one. Heck yeah. Well, I was a kid we used to cast washers all the time. Can't believe I picked one up right off the backside. Look at that. It's just got to get right on the other side of those weeds. That's the deal. Oh, come on. Come on. That was like a two pounder. Oh my God. Oh, I can't believe I missed my shot. I had the glory. Just couldn't handle the pressure. Let's get back up by the fire. Make sure we're not burning this floor stone. I don't know that it gets much better than this right here. This is nice. The temperature is perfect right now. It's a nice cool breeze coming off the lake. It's dried out considerably. It's gonna be perfect sleeping weather. Don't have to run the generator anymore. Pretty happy. I'm gonna get supper started here really soon. I was just gonna thank a bunch of you guys that actually commented um, about the fact that I hadn't posted for the last two weeks. So really what it was is I ended up getting sick, got the virus of some type. I don't know what I got, but man, it was bad. Uh, every skin pore on my body hurt, my ears hurt, my teeth hurt, every follicle on my head hurt. Uh, it was incredible. Couldn't keep food down for a couple of days straight. Uh, I was running a really bad fever and um, yeah, just felt horrible. There was no way I was making a video. And you guys know that I work Monday through Friday. Um, I'm making these videos on Saturdays and trying to get them out to you guys by Tuesdays. And we've been doing that for over a year. I've gotten a video out to you guys every Tuesday. So it was really tough for me to miss the last two weeks of video. Now last weekend, a little bit different story. I was feeling a lot better, but of course, when it rains, it pours. The dryer at my house went out. I was putting in new flooring, had all kinds of stuff that I had to deal with. So I had to go find a used dryer, um, got some flooring put in, and ended up getting some furniture in the house. But uh, so I've been busy. The plan is to try and get ahead a few videos. That would be nice, but 
need to take like a week off of work. I don't see that happening anytime soon. So right now, you guys are seeing on Tuesdays what's happening for me, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And I'm all right with that. Um, you guys are pretty much seeing in live time what it's like here in Minnesota. Um, and we've been doing that all winter long. And uh, I'm gonna keep trying to get these videos out to you guys every Tuesday, hopefully. Don't get behind and I just don't get sick. So that's that. Here we are. All right. Well, supper's done. The plan now is to get in the shower, take a nice, long, cold shower, get clean. I've got lake on me. I still got mud on my legs from when I almost wiped out this afternoon on the bike. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get clean. It's gonna feel good. And then I'll have supper. I'll get back with you guys in a bit. So it's about nine o'clock and it's still really quiet around here. They haven't gotten out with the wheelers yet. I will say that all of the people that I've ran into along the way, walking down the roads, biking down the roads, are just driving out here. Very, very nice. Everybody's moved over, giving me enough room. I haven't had any people flying past me, which does happen sometimes when you get out on these forestry roads. All the people out here have been great i've even stopped and talked to a few people at their campsites and everybody's been awesome so that's good she is already heating up this morning but i think what we'll do is go out for a little walk and explore this place and take a closer look i'm not like a superstitious person or anything but i still wouldn't want to live in a house with that number have my telephone number as that number drive a vehicle that's plated that number That is awesome. I hope if you guys have taken anything away from my videos, it's that there is a lot of free camping available. It amazes me how it seems like every weekend I keep finding more of these places. I use Onyx Maps to find the public land. Then I use Google Earth to look for pull-offs along the side of forestry roads on that public land. That's how I end up here. If you guys do make it up here, just know that there is going to be a lot of noise because this is a recreation area. Can you hear them? And that's what they're here for, is have fun. I gotta say, I think that this might be one of my favorite campsites this year. So this was a nice one. I'll probably end up bringing Mandy back. For now, we got this video in the bag. So until next week, guys, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.